This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be taking you through the space where I spend most of my time day to day. As a full-time finance professional, online student, and part-time creator, I'm often in this room between 12 to 16 hours a day, which is why this space is so important to me as your space would be to you. My goal with this video is to share my thoughts on why a workspace setup is important to both productivity and relaxation and to hopefully provide even a little bit of inspiration on how you can build your workspace and setup. Your office or desk setup or general workspace is an extension of yourself, which is why so many of us spend a lot of time trying to make our spaces perfect. And for this space, I don't think it will ever truly be done. As with most things, it changes year over year, but here's what I have in the middle of 2022. And of course, everything in my office will be linked down below in the description. So what I think I'm gonna do is go counterclockwise around the room and starting with the bookshelf. This bookshelf itself is what I think is pronounced Fialbo from Ikea which matches the shelves I also have. Honestly, this room is pretty tiny, so I figured it'd be best to build vertically. I also want to have some game consoles in the space, but I don't always want them at my desk. But working top down from the bookshelf, the top shelf here is my mini gaming console setup. This has an M32Q from Gigabyte, which is a 165Hz 1440p display. It's loaded with ports and it's actually insanely versatile, perfect for up here. This is hooked up to my Xbox Series S, which pairs perfectly for 1440p gaming at 120Hz, as well as my Nintendo Switch. And both of these are hooked up to this Lano switcher, which makes it easy to swap between them. This is also where I drop my everyday carry, which is super light, just my keys, AirPods, and this matte black titanium Ridge Wallet, which is today's video sponsor. As with everything in my day to day, I try to be as organized as possible with a degree of minimalism. I used to carry one of those fat dad wallets, but after shedding all the fluff, I ended up just carrying a bit of cash with a couple of cards. The Ridge Wallet can hold up to 12 cards and is incredibly durable, which is why it's backed by a lifetime warranty. With over 30 colors and styles to choose from, there's something for everybody. Check the link down below in the description and use code MINIMAL to save 10%. Thanks again for Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. And lastly, I've got this matte black lamp with a warm Edison bulb. The warm light just makes the whole space cozy in the evenings. Moving down a shelf, all of this is plugged into this power cloud from iSwift. It's a different take on a power strip, but has a little bit of a nicer aesthetic. I've got my monitor and game consoles hooked up, as well as my MagSafe chargers for both my Apple Watch and iPhone. This actually puts out up to 65 watts via USB-C as well, so I'll sometimes swap out to charge my iPad on here. And I've got this micro USB handy, which is great for charging my lighting batteries and keyboards. But jumping back up one shelf, this one is one of those personal things that I really, really love in my space, and that's the CD player. There's something just so satisfying about picking a CD, popping it in, and just listening through the entire album. Playlists are nice, don't get me wrong, but my collection of 90s and 2000s punk rock is just too nice to dive into every day. And this is Fred, literally just Fred. Apart from that, I do have my three controllers for my Switch, Xbox, as well as a spare controller for my PlayStation 5, which I sometimes swap between here and the living room. But the next shelf down, I've got some Bluetooth speakers and some charging stuff, not too much down here. I do like to keep my boxes for tech for resale, and I do also keep my keyboards here, which I swap out depending on what I'm doing. And the last shelf here at the bottom is where I keep my guitar amp. I love this tiny Vox amp. It fits perfectly, but has big sound. Sometimes all you need is five minutes to riff in the middle of the workday to pump you back up. But moving over to the main desks and setup, I ended up just building this massive L-shaped desk and it turned out really well for me. There's most definitely ways I could have had this all in one setup, but for myself, the separation helps me mentally focus on whatever it is I'm doing. I've got one setup geared towards my schooling, personal, and creation, and my other setup is all meant for professional work and PC gaming. Both setups are IKEA builds, which is widely overdone at this point, but honestly, there's a reason it's so popular, and that's because it's super functional, relatively inexpensive, and it looks really good. For the base of the desk, I'm using three Alex drawers, which is great for both organization and storage, as well as two Adil's legs. Atop that, I am using two Carlby countertops in the walnut finish. While they don't look perfectly the same, having been purchased a year and a half apart from each other, they do work perfectly well. I find the large L setup does make the best use of space for the tiny area, and it allows me to scoot back and forth between the two setups easily. And onto my creation setup, everything feeds into my 14 inch MacBook Pro. This is the base model version, which is an absolute powerhouse. The base model does come with an M1 Pro chip, which is plenty powerful for me. The only thing I wish I had upgraded was the storage. 
As a creator, I've already torn right through the 512 gigabytes at the base model. And for my display, I'm using the controversial studio display that Apple released earlier this year. Lots of folks hate on it, and honestly, it's actually pretty expensive for what you get. I have a review on this display, so check that out if you want to know more. For me, it works really well, and I don't have any complaints outside of the crummy camera, but even still, the webcam does work just fine. Next to my main display, I've actually been using my iPad at least three times more with the release of Universal Control. Simply put, it's actually so pleasant having a setup on a magnetic stand. This one is from MagFit, which also doubles as a 10-in-1 dock for my MacBook. Not only does it prop up my iPad as a second display, but it's super handy for USBs, SD cards, and more. The iPad I have is the iPad Air 4 from 2020. I was thinking about snagging one of the new M1 chip iPads, but until they update iPadOS, I don't really see a purpose. And until they make those large updates to iPadOS, this one is perfectly fine as it does everything I need it to do. Now, I've been using them less and less with the studio display speakers being so good, but the stereo home pods I've got set up here are great for controlling lighting in the office, as well as playing music when I am working, but I think I am gonna be repurposing these to use in the rest of my house. And when it comes to voiceovers and general recording, I recently got this Blue Yeti and boom arm set up. It's mounted off to the side, so it's out of the way, but the boom arm is long enough to use when I'm ready. And for peripherals, I mainly use the Apple Magic Keyboard and Trackpad. I really dig mechanicals, but sometimes a quiet chiclet keyboard fits the mood perfectly. Not to mention Touch ID is super convenient. When doing online studies or editing, I do always bust out this Logitech G604, which I can really say is actually the best mouse I've ever used. And to top off the ambience in the office, I've got this nano leaf light strip on the back end of my desk to swap to any color fitting the mood. And to scoop between the two setups, I've got this ergo chair from Autonomous. It has loads of adjustability and the quality is fantastic. Now, going on to my gaming and work setup, this is where I find myself gaming less and less these days, only because the latest gen gaming consoles have pulled me away from PC gaming more and more. And here's where I work day to day as a finance professional, and I've been using the Huawei MateView GT 34 inch, which is an ultra wide. This does support up to 165 Hertz for gaming, but for me, it mostly comes down to the features versus the panel itself. The monitor has a built-in speaker and mic, which is perfect for calls daily. I've been using this pre-built MSI Trident X for years, and the specs are up on the screen. And truly this system holds up to all the latest games that I would wanna play. For peripherals on this setup, I do swap between my Keychron K4 while working and the Corsair K63 while gaming. The Keychron has brown switches, which I've grown to absolutely despise. I'm absolutely in love with the layout of this keyboard, but this unit isn't hot swappable, so I think I'm gonna have it modded to black switches. And to round out this entire space, you've just gotta get stuff up on your walls and show some of your personality, hobbies, and interests. Each wall I look at invokes a memory or thought or feeling, and that's what makes this space special and mine. My wife and I got this Starry Night print as a gift, and this is a print of the night sky when my wife and I met back in high school. X-Ray Art sent me this beautiful piece that I absolutely love. This is a deconstructed iPhone 4 from back in the day, which was the first Apple product I ever purchased. They do have other Apple products as well as Nintendo handhelds and more, so check that out in the description. Now on my shelves, I've got more boxes of course for resale, an Xbox One S, and some family portraits. I don't really read much either, but as a huge Blink-182 fan, this Travis Barker biography was such a good read, and as a Harry Potter fan, you've just gotta have a horcrux or two laying around. And to round off the art, I've got two canvases from each of my older brothers that painted them up for me. And lastly, the two most prized items in my office are definitely the guitars that my beautiful wife gifted to me. The hollow body is the signature guitar from the previous frontman of Blink-182, and the acoustic the guitar was the first gift my wife bought me back in high school when we were dating for like three months. People thought she was nuts. So that's my space guys. Again, it's never truly finished. I might change it up a couple times a year or not at all. This space is my own little den of creativity, productivity, and relaxation. If you stuck around to the end, thank you for watching. Hoping something in this room sparked a little bit of inspiration. And thanks again to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Till next time.